Oh, it's about to be that season, y'all. Like, it's about to be that champ lip season, and bliss sticks. Get yourself some bliss sticks. It will protect your lips, and I mean it. Protect your fucking lips. Upside down and inside out. I'm about to show all you folks what it's all about. Now it's time for me to get on the mic and make this tag team party hype. I'm taking it back to the old school because I'm an old fool who's so cool. If you want to get down. What up to a skin? What up to a squad? It's your girl, Money. Two times up in here. And today, I am here to tell y'all a story about how I was hypnotized when I was at my orientation. Before we get to the top of this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell to get notified for more videos in the channel. Now, let's get to it. I'm sorry I haven't been like posting much lately. I mean, I don't know how long since the last I posted, but I had my hands full this weekend since my last video. I was at my orientation for Cabrini University, and y'all probably wondering, how come you're not in your dorm? Well, I am commuting for this year. I am highly considering, you know, to move in for sophomore year, but you know, I'll have to wait. I'll, I'll have to see, you know, how I would feel, what my decision would be by the end of my freshman year. So, you know, <laughs> ease up on me. I'm not the only person that's commuting here. <laughs> So throughout this whole, you know, weekend, well, except for today, I have been attending my orientations from my college. And let me just say this, it is amazing. My college is amazing. I am representing Cabrini University as of right now. This is like my class shirt. And it's pretty nice, even though I don't like blue. Like, like this is not my favorite color. My favorite color is purple, but this is a good, you know, blue. Um, <laughs> please don't come at me, blue color people like if you enjoy the color blue please don't come in me in the comments below please don't please um let me tell you during like my orientation we had like these events going on like you know the, you know the introduction you know dance act skits and whatnot but you know like this is like the first day uh the first day of orientation was like last friday and um you know, they did, you know, their introductions, tell, like, welcoming us to Cabrini, you know, I got my ID, this is my ID, uh, it looks really, 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 really weird, like, this is like a good picture, even though I don't smile at all, like, I don't like smiling, <laughs> but, um, yeah, <clears throat> So I like, thought the whole day, it was really fun. I seen a lot of familiar faces that used to go to Upper Derby High. I seen, you know, familiar people in the past. And hell, I seen new people. I met like a lot of people in that college. I hope I meet more when, um, I, when I start school the next day. But let's get to the story. I'm totally, totally going off topic here. So here's the part where I got hypnotized. So I, it was around like, 10 o'clock where the joint started because like we had we just came back from doing this little like play fear event in Cabrini and when I say they take rock paper scissors seriously I mean they take rock paper scissors seriously up there like we had like a whole tournament based upon rock paper scissors and you know this kid won and I had fun up there people was like um nah I'm not even gonna play fear shit like that blah, blah, blah. but yeah they had the best time in their lives um uh, then like the we got to the hypnosis now let me tell you, I had some doubts about hypnosis. Like, I believed in them, but then again, I was like, that shit won't work for real. It, it, it will not work. But I, myself, and a couple, well, a handful of Cabrini students had, you know, was were, were selected to do the hypnosis joint on stage. And let me just say, it was some funny moments and embarrassing moments Oh, we'll get to the embarrassment part that happened during the hypnosis. So the whole topic of the whole hypnosis program was called hypnosis intoxication. Basically, we're gonna be hip basically I was hypnotized to pretend I was drunk, but I didn't happen until like the near end of the show. So like the first part, he you know hypnotized you know the audience before he had like volunteers go on stage. He had his like he had his like 
believe that were, our hands were like stuck. And let me tell you, my hands were legit stuck. Like I couldn't, you know, believe that, you know, this shit hurt, this works. So I'm over here, I'm just like, oh shit, you know, this works. And he said, the people who like, you know, had, who like, felt that you know come on stage we got i got put on stage with myself like with me and a couple of community students and you know then a guy he had like hypnotized us to believe that our arms were, like really, really 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 like you know heavy and we couldn't like bend them and i tried to resist i tried to but i couldn't and then he hypnotized us to sleep now even though i remember everything and that's why i'm telling you the story but at that point at that time i did not know what the fuck i was doing like i was legit hypnotized like being hypnotized it's like you're in a dream but it's real like that's the part right there it's like you're it's like you're dreaming but you're actually but actually it's reality so he after he you know hypnotized us to believe that you know our hands are like you know uh, like heavy then he hypnotized then he like had his like imagine we was like watching a funny movie and everybody started busting out laughing like we was busting out laughing and then he started having us believe that we was watching the a very sad movie and we started crying some of us i cried well i almost wanted to cry and then he started having fun with us mind you we was hypnotized he made one kid um believe that he that that every time he asked for his name he asked he say you know different names he had one saying his name was nick or tom or there's many many or mike many other names he had one girl believe that her flip-flop was a cell phone uh, he made another kid believe that he was Superman. Yeah, let that sink in. He had one kid believe that he was just, that he was Superman. He had another kid uh, try try to like you know get her to say her name, but every time she tries to, she like mama was like mm, like like that. Um, then he advertised myself and a few other people to hate Pennsylvania. And mind you, I'm from Pennsylvania. I am from Pennsylvania. West Philly, where y'all at, bro? Uh, I'm from Pennsylvania. And he had us believe, he had us act like we hate Pennsylvania. Like every time he says, you know, tells us story, anything that mentions the word Pennsylvania, we get angry. And when he said that, I legit got angry at him. I said, why? Stop talking about Pennsylvania, blah, blah, blah. And like, and like I still feel weird about it because I am from Pennsylvania. And then he got to the really fun part. And this part right here is like really, really embarrassing to talk about. And he talked about the You said what, Noel? The food's outside? Okay, give me one second. I'm sorry about that. Um I had to like open the door for the Chinese guy because like my mom had ordered Chinese food. Um, I'm gonna try to make this as fast as I can. Uh, so the entertaining part, and mind you, my most embarrassing part was when he hypnotized everybody to present a dinner, like R&B, like singers and rappers. And he hypnotized one dude to be Drake, another dude to be Pitbull, Bruno Mars. Uh, one girl to be Nicki Minaj and he hypnotized two people to be a fake Beyonce and a real Beyonce and guess who got hypnotized to be the real Beyonce me and just just take a look at the clip <laughs> It 
it was so embarrassing like like literally my most embarrassing moment and after that you know he hypnotizes no he hypnotizes and pretend that we was drunk and it actually felt like we was actually like drunk and all in all at the end of the day like, after the show i had fun yeah, i was so weirded out because i like, ever was like you did a good job beyonce and so like, i was like what then my old wire leader you know he she got worried because you know i wasn't really aware much so he hypnotized me again he snapped me back to reality the first time and i'm just like what the hell like i was like starting to get like upset when i did him and me again and he had me remember that he remember, he had me remember everything and uh, everything that he did was all funny games. I was really started laughing. I was like, wow. And I felt so weirded out. And then you want to know what happened the next day after I was going to Beyonce. I'm going to get that shit on campus. All right, guys. That's it for the video today. That is a story about how I got hypnotized. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I end this video, I'm going to let y'all know hypn hypnosis is real. It is real. Do not talk shit about it unless you didn't experience it yourself. Hypnosis is real out here, people. It is real, period. All right, guys. That's all the video I have for you today. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified for all the future notifications of this channel. And you got money two times. Is that chat lip season? Signing. Dream, I didn't even have a dollar. The funny thing is, I just made a deposit. I never had shit when I was at the bottom. My phone was never ringing, now my phone never stopping. A papa went to prison, I didn't really have a father. Then my mother busy stripping when I really needed mama. But fuck all of the problems, I'm chasing after the commas in the cut like I'm a doctor, accounting a couple thousand.